nothing but the absolute silence of my room because I don't have anything in my room and I didn't feel like cooking anything. So basically the picture happened when I first got my equipment stuff and I got all these different colored lights and I thought it would be cool to kind of play around with it in camera. And the only thing actually edited on here is like the blurred face and then my logo, the smiley face, because that's my logo for music and stuff. So I thought it'd be cool to put it on there and use it as like my backdrop. It was pretty dope. And um, actually like one of my, my better songs has like 30, 35,000 plays on it. It's called uh, Ipanema. And it's based off of the original uh, Bossa Nova song of the girl from Ipanema. Yeah, sure. I wasn't, I wasn't promoting it. I wasn't really expecting it to do much. And then 30, 35,000 plays later, like here we are and... No, no, carry on, carry on. Okay then. So yeah, like essentially, I, I mean, I made the song because when I heard the instrumental, I just, I just kept singing the song, The Girl From Ipanema in my head. And then I just told this story about this one girl that everybody kind of notices. And then I don't notice her at all, but we bump into each other again later. And then the same exact thing happens. And I actually acknowledge her a little bit this time. And it's just, Ah, it's kind of crazy and then I get to speak Portuguese at the end which I've never done before I've done a lot of Spanish but never Portuguese but people really really like that song it's it's actually pretty crazy to be honest with you